Hello friends welcome back to our TS Info YouTube channel this is Ganesh Yadav in this video we are going to discuss how to create a subsite in SharePoint online first of all open your main SharePoint online site with your respective credential here you can see this is my team site as marketing now let me explain what is a subsite in SharePoint a SharePoint subsite is a nested website within a parent SharePoint site which allows for a content to be organized and managed with specific permissions and settings. It is essentially a site is resides under another site within a same site collection. The main site in a collection is not a subsite, but all other sites within a hierarchically are considered as a subsites. Subsite can inherit permissions and navigation structure from their parent site or it can be configured with unique permissions and settings. A subsite in SharePoint can serve various purposes such as hosting department, specific content, projects or team collaboration spaces within an organization. Each subsite can have its own list, libraries, pages and other SharePoint components and, and can be tailored with its own look and feel. It allows for a structured approach to content management where each team or department can have a decided subsite that part of the larger organizational SharePoint environment. Next I will show you practically how to create a subsite in SharePoint online main site. See here this is my SharePoint online home page. Here select the site contents from the left navigations or click on the gear icon here you can select the site contents. On the SharePoint contents page there is a option like subsite. Click on the subsite where we will get the all created subsite. And if you want to create a new subset, just expand the new drop down. Here, select the subset. Now, provide the information like title and description is optional here, and you must provide the URL name. And by default, language as English, and select the template. And here, you can see permissions. SharePoint subsite can be created by users with sufficient permissions and the level of access for the users can be finely controlled. This means a subsite can have completely different group of users from the parent site or other subsites in the SharePoint site collection. Moreover, subsite can also have unique workflows, content types and features that are specific to needs of a group of using that subsite. Here you can see we will get two types of user permissions like use same permissions as parent site or you can use unique permissions. Next you will see here you can select the navigation like display this site on quick launch of parent site or display this site on top link bar of the parent site or else you can select navigation inheritance like use top link bar from the parent site. Once it is done just click on the create button. It will take few seconds to create a subsite. See, this is how see this is how subsite look likes. And whenever the user click on the new subsite, it will give the pop up window like next steps, where we can get the information like. Apply a site template, upload files, post news and change the look options. Now go to the main site. Now you will get the created subsite under the subsite section. See here. And you should remember by defaultly the site administrator or site owners can create a subsite. But as site member you should have at least edit permissions. Also you can create up to 2000 subsite per a site. Now I will show you another way like how to create a subsite from site settings. For that click on the gear icon. Here select the site information. Then select the view all site settings. Here go to the site administration section and select the site and workspaces. Here you can see 
there is a option like create option and you will get the created sites now click on the create button and provide the title and add the site url next here i will select unique permissions and select the navigation option like display this site on quick launch for the parent site then click on the create button and here you see whenever you select a unique permissions it will redirect to set up groups for this site page here you can select the group members or group owners or group visitors first of all for visitors to this group just add the visitors and here you can add members of this site and you can also add owners of the site also once it is done click on the okay button now you can see this is my sharepoint online sub site now go to the sharepoint main site click on the site contents then go to the subsite section here you can see the created subsite appear under the subsite section and also you can see here under the left navigation there is a section like subsite under the subsite you will get the created subsite Yes friends this is all about how to create a subset using two different ways I hope guys you like this video to give you a like and do subscribe our youtube channel for more free videos on sharepoint online power apps power automate and power bi thank you